Hallelujah, beloved. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something right now. Our praise is powerful. Our praise is a weapon against the darts, the schemes, the plots, the snares, and the tactics of the enemy. I am going to share a little information about a dream that I recently had. And in the dream, there was a creepy man. And he was about to follow me to my car. And I knew he was stalking me. And I knew that if I had walked to my car, he would follow me. And he wouldn't leave me alone. So I felt trapped. I felt intimidated. I felt scared. And this man looked deformed. He really looked demonic in the dream. So he turned and looked at me when he noticed that I felt intimidated by him. And he said, you're not going home to your husband. He was trying to get in the way of me getting home to my husband and get in between our marriage. There are demonic forces that are trying to pull people away from each other that God has ordained. It was a demonic being trying to stop me from getting to my car in order to stop me from getting home. And then in the next scene of the dream, I was walking down a street. I don't know how I got there um, because I don't remember leaving one scene and entering into another scene of the next stage of the dream. But there was this gangster, mobster type of man that pulled up in an old style vehicle, maybe from, I don't know, the 60s or 70s. A car like you'd see in one of those car shows. A flashy, old-school-looking vehicle. I got in the passenger seat with him, and he opened up a box. And inside the box were two microphones, but the microphones were actually guns. So I picked up the microphone, one of them at least, and I tried to shoot it. And I didn't understand how I would be able to use this microphone as a gun. And the prophetic meaning of the dream is that praise and worship is a spiritual weapon against every demonic attack that comes against our lives, that comes against our voice, that comes against our marriage, that comes against godly relationships, that comes against our God-given purpose and calling and the destiny that God has for us. For the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Don't put your praise down. Don't put your worship down. Pick up the microphone and worship the King of Kings. Amen.